and uh, I will be talking about ERC20 tokens. I guess um, every Ethereum developer has been through the ERC20 um, uh, code base, probably used Open Zeppelin code. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking about, about about a very specific feature, which is the max approval thing. Many dApps have been using it, and uh, it's way less secure than we may think. Um, a bit about me, I'm building this project called Savior, um, an app and protocol for uh, real-time payments. Imagine getting your salary every second. Um, and I published a beta uh, version of, of the project in um, early this summer. And of course, I looked at other dApps, um, and I saw that they have this max approval thing, so I said, let's do it. Sounds cool. Um, it's easy because you have only have to ask your users once, and then that's it. Um, so this is like how it looked, you had to approve the save your contract once, and that was it. Um, all things worked. went fine for like one or two months, I had like 50 people costing 100 die in total. Um, so it was not like a big deal, I was like, it's fine. Uh, if there is a bug, it's fine, right? Uh, no. Uh, because of this thing, there was a bug, and <laughs> quite a big one, because even if in the contract you only had 100 die, at risk, I put by mistake more than 10,000 in total. Um, because there was a bug in the contract that uh, allowed people to create streams, what I said, uh, like real time payments, um, using the ERC20 allowance and pay themselves basically. Using the money that was not in the contract, funny enough, the money in the contract was safe, but the money outside the contract was not safe. Um, so that's why I like this thing, uh, to call this thing um, missing the forest for the trees. So that tree is your smart contract, beautiful, secure, and, and whatnot, but the ERC20 allowance is basically in the back and you're not seeing it. Um, so how can we solve this? At the UI level, we have to build uh, better wallets. Um, I know it's still like, kind of like early days, but this is bad, like bad UI. Uh, there's no way I can easily explain this to, to anyone. Uh, it's just a big number, it looks like some app wants to steal all, all your money from the wallet right, right now, even if it's just like an approval, right? Um, so there's that. And in the back end, this is what we can do as developers. Uh, there are three solutions. The first one being that you can use a different token. Uh, it's not convenient because most tokens are ERC20, and yeah, just we are stuck with this uh, standards at the moment. Um, but hopefully in the future, we will be using more standards like this. Um, then you can use a metal wrapper that Philippe Castan Gua, I think, developed a way to deposit die and use it in a safety manner. Um, I think they use this with so they use this with the new um, standard developed by Engine called 1155. Uh, pretty good, but still it requires user input, uh, so that's quite uh, troublesome. And the optimal solution is to sign two transactions. So you go to your uh, DAP and you have uh, like approve and then spend. And even if that is slightly better UX, you can sleep better because you know that in case there's something bad, all the, uh, like the forest is fine. The forest is safe, right? Um, so um, kudos for kickback for doing this. I think the UI is good enough. Uh, I didn't have like, any problem with of, like allowing and then and then spending. So um, uh, that was it. Thank you for, um, for this. And, yeah.